there. So everyone knows that Samsung makes the best smartphone displays. In October 2008, Samsung launched its first smartphone with OLED and the device was called Samsung i7110. Interestingly, Samsung wasn't the first one to the market with OLED. It was Nokia with N95. They beat Samsung by just one month. But it was Samsung who popularized the OLED technology for smartphones and is literally ruling the display industry ever since. Nine years later, Apple finally decided to go for superior display technology and source OLEDs from Samsung for the iPhone 10. At that time, Samsung was the lone supplier for OLEDs for that phone, but the following year, Apple diversified its supply chain of display components and chose LG as the second display supplier for the 10s and 10s Max. The 2019 iPhones will also have Samsung and LG as the display suppliers. Now it looks like Apple wants to get rid of Samsung as its biggest OLED supplier. Why? Well, it's because of the high display prices that Samsung is charging. You see, it took $370 for Apple to make the iPhone 10, and the display was the most expensive component. It accounted for $110 or 30% of the total cost, which is a lot. The cost rose to $120 the following year for the 10s Max because of the larger display. BOE, a Chinese display company, which is Samsung's biggest display competitor, is ready to supply OLEDs to Apple for 20% cheaper according to industry experts. So now Apple is negotiating with BOE, raising the possibility that Apple could source this advanced display technology from China for the first time. It's worth mentioning that BOE already supplies LCDs to Apple. The MacBooks and iPads have displays made by this Chinese company. Also BOE makes displays for Huawei, Dell, HP and more. So this is not good news for Samsung by any means. The display is one of Samsung's main business and they make billions each year. Apple is their biggest customer and Samsung again made billions from Apple since 2017. And with the rumor that Apple is going all in with OLEDs next year, it's certainly gonna hurt Samsung and their revenues. Also, this isn't good news for Apple fans either because like I've said, Samsung makes the best displays which I'm sure BOE wouldn't be able to match, not today at least. So let's see how this is gonna turn out both for Samsung an apple. So Tim Cook and President Trump sat down to talk about the tariffs that Apple have to pay if they import goods from China. Trump wants American companies to make everything in America and not in other countries, especially in China. So he is imposing 10% tariffs on the imports made from China, which is quite a lot. Tim Cook is explaining to Trump why this isn't a good move and how this is going to help Samsung. Since Samsung is a South Korean company, they don't fall under Trump's tariff, so Apple is saying that it's tough for them to pay tariffs if they are competing with a very good company that's not, which is of course Samsung. So now Trump is saying that Apple made a good case and he will think about it, which concerns me to be honest. I mean, now what? Is he gonna make Samsung pay 10% tariffs as well? Samsung makes most of their stuff in China and imports it to the US. So it's totally possible that Trump is gonna put Samsung in that list too, which is certainly not good news for us because those taxes will be carried over to us and we'll have to pay more for the same product. I don't know, Tim Cook is like, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.